Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Yeah, good evening. We're about to start, so let's wait. Wait for a moment. Welcome. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, I think it's time to start. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, uh, welcome to your to our first class. We're going to talk about uh, generalities and um, how are we going to to develop this course. Okay, uh, first, my name is Victor Martinez, and I'm going to be in charge of this module. This is basic module three. And I'm here to help you okay to guide you um remember that these classes are in in english but i'm gonna speak slow if you don't understand you can ask me and um well of the previous teacher you have i think they only spoke in, in english Right? ¿Verdad que sí? Solo inglés les hablaban, ¿verdad? So, this is the same. But, uh, well, we're going to start today and let's talk about generalities. We're going to speak 
con el permiso de ustedes, voy a hablar un poquito de español, ¿ok? Solo para hablar de las generalidades y esto que quede clarito, ¿verdad? Que quede cl sé que ya saben eh, las, la normativa y todo eso, ustedes ya lo saben, pero pues es mi obligación eh, hacérselas eh, saber de nuevo, ¿ok? Bueno, es el señor que ven ustedes ahí. Soy yo. ¿verdad? That's me. I'm Victor Hugo Martínez. Eh, ya tengo ratito de andar en esto de la enseñanza del idioma. Que pues es un idioma muy, muy bonito, ¿verdad? Entretenido y pues muy útil. Muy útil. Eh, bueno, un poco de mí. Eh, Uh, eh, estoy trabajando actualmente con inglés corporativo, pues que es la academia que me ha brindado la oportunidad de trabajar en línea y pues ya tengo quizás como un año de estar con él. Aparte de eso, pues también como docente en la universidad pedagógica, pero ahorita pues no lo estoy haciendo, ¿verdad? Espero volver más adelante. Y pues ya tengo un poquito más de 16 años de estar en la enseñanza del idioma inglés. Así que pues para mí es un gusto ya poder compartir lo poquito que sé. Así que eh, cuenten con mi apoyo en el, en, en el aprendizaje. Eh, no, no, no duden en preguntar. Eh, decirles que al igual que ustedes, yo ya pasé un proceso de aprendizaje y sigo aprendiendo. Sigo aprendiendo. ¿verdad? Así que, este, eso, cuenten con mi apoyo. Ya saben que ahí está el grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, si hay algo, algo de la plataforma que no comprendemos, podemos preguntar. Toda vez y cuando, pues, nos permite el tiempo, ¿verdad? Así que, saben que después de clase hay un, un espacio para poder... Eh, abordar eh, eh, esa duda, ¿verdad? Hacer preguntas y nos podemos quedar después de clase un par de minutos para atender sus dudas. Continuamos. Ok, dice sobre las tareas y evaluaciones. Mínimamente es el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Pero usted sabe de que usted no es del 80%, ¿verdad? Usted es del 100%. ¿verdad? Y se pudiera el 110 o 150%, usted lo da. Usted eh, tiene el compromiso, no con la academia, no conmigo, no sé, con, con usted mismo. El compromiso es con usted mismo. Porque el progreso que usted tenga es para su beneficio. ¿verdad? La academia y mi persona solamente estamos para apoyarlo, ¿verdad? La, eh, eh, en, su, en su proceso de aprendizaje. Y, y ahí estamos, ¿verdad? con mucho gusto ayudándoles. Bueno, ya saben que las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y pues usted como así le gusta quedarse desvelando, ¿verdad? Viendo películas, así se va a quedar desvelándose haciendo sus tareas o va a dedicar un tiempo para realizar sus tareas. Usted va a utilizar un tiempo en su semana para poder avanzar, llevar un avance, eh, digámoslo así, aceptable, normal, que no se atrase, que ya cuando estamos en la última semana o, o que se le estén haciendo llamados eh, sobre su progreso, yo sé que ustedes no permiten eso. Ustedes hasta se adelantan. Bueno, las tareas eh, de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. O sea que a la medianoche se acabó el encanto, ¿verdad? Así como la cenicienta. ¿eh? El carruaje y todo eso se vuelve, vuelve a la normalidad. Así que eh, recuerde que todo esto es monitoreado por Insafor. O sea, hay que estar mandándole todo el progreso de ustedes para ver si es cierto que Vanessa, que Sergio, que Merari, que todos ustedes están 
cumpliendo con ese compromiso que ustedes adquirieron. Hay fechas límites para exámenes, para el midterm, o sea, el, el primer examencito que tienen. Un ejemplo, tal fecha ya tiene que haber entregado ese examencito. O tal fecha, la, ya para finalizar, tiene que haber finalizado con su examen. Valga la redundancia, final. ¿verdad? Ya que esto hay que, estas cuatro semanas hay trabajo, ¿sabe qué? Usted se va a poner las pilas para recibir ese, ese pancito, ¿verdad? Con chumpe, bien galán y sin deber ninguna tarea. El manual, pues, eh, espero yo que ustedes ya lo hayan descargado. Todo el material, las credenciales que les mandaron, ahí va el material, el manual del alumno, y ese, con ese es el que vamos a trabajar. Eh, bueno, no vamos a utilizar materiales de tercero, o sea, de libros o cosas que no estén dentro del manual. Preguntas hasta acá. No, teacher. Thank you, Sergio. No. Bueno, aquí veo. Solo caritas felices. Estoy bien. Eh, mire, solo sonrisotas. Veo. Eh, si va bien. Everybody happy, ¿verdad? Todos de, estamos contentos por comenzar un nuevo curso, ¿verdad? Y a entrarle con ganas. Ya después de esto vamos a comenzar con la clase, ¿de acuerdo? Yo sé que usted dice, ah, teacher, apúrese, queremos comenzar ya con nuestro aprendizaje. Ahorita, take it easy, ¿ok? Dice requerimientos, esto es como lo están haciendo acá, va, por ejemplo, tengo a Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Santos. Mire, dice, nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. Justamente como lo ha hecho Sergio, como lo ha hecho Vanessa, así debe de ser. Recuerden que este video queda grabado. Y esa es evidencia, esa es evidencia, ¿verdad? Esa es parte de los requerimientos. Y les agradezco porque todos lo están haciendo así. Todos lo están haciendo. Yo aquí reviso, aquí lo tengo Walter Ramírez y Kimberly Miranda. Ellos miren, a ellos les vamos a poner una penitencia porque Jenny Velázquez también. Porque solo han colocado un nombre y un apellido. Así que van a, van a tener que cantarnos una canción. ¿no? En inglés. Por supuesto, ¿verdad? Muy bien. En el caso de oyentes, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Sucede esto que a veces tenemos tareas, tenemos compromisos. Por supuesto, esto no va a suceder todos los días, ¿verdad? Esto es una cuestión extraordinaria. Mire, profe, oyente, 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 ya. Ya uno ya ni nos mira en clase, ¿verdad? Solo, solo de oyente. Pero, bueno, si hay alguna situación, ya sabe qué tiene que hacer. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. A veces hay problemas de señal. Se comprende, usted se comunica conmigo, ¿verdad? Y por eso tenemos el WhatsApp. Ahí tenemos el grupo de WhatsApp. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Fíjese que a veces hasta nos tenemos que echar un, un trozo de novela porque este, tienen abierto el micrófono y, pues, y se escucha ahí, ¿verdad? La novela o se escucha que, está bien, que, que tienen música, o si no, que están platicando, pues, ¿verdad? Se escucha el perrito, el perico, el gato, y un, y un montón de ruidos, y eso, pues, lo escucha toda la clase. Así que hay que tener cuidado con eso, con los micrófonos, ¿verdad? Que estén abiertos. Algo que sí yo les pido es que haya participación en la clase. Debe de ser obligatorio participar. ¿Por qué? Porque son dos horas de su tiempo para practicar su inglés, para entrenar pronunciación, para interactuar con sus compañeros. 
pero creamos grupos y hay grupos, solo, mira, el profe me dice, solo yo estaba en grupo y yo hablaba y nadie me respondía, nadie me respondía. Yo les hablaba y nada, mire, yo, ah, unos me han dicho, mira, me está ganando de llorar, me da miedo, porque no me, no me, como me ignoran, me, entonces no, no hagamos eso, hombre, no hagamos, participemos. ¿Y por qué no participo? Me da pena. Por supuesto, comenzamos a aprender un idioma, vamos a cometer errores. Vamos a cometer errores de pronunciación, eh, estructuras gramaticales, eso, eso es normal. Es normal, es parte del proceso. Entonces usted, y más que todo, mire, usted en su casita, sentadito, platicando, tranquilo, participe, eso sí, se lo pido que participe ¿de acuerdo? levánteme ahí un dedito, ahí, mándeme un dedito si está de acuerdo en participar en la clase de acuerdo teacher eso good excellent good students por ahí está, por ahí está, ¿ves? Mande un like, mande un like. Excelente, excelente, eso. Participar. Participation in class. All right. Good students. Let's continue. Permítame que llame. Vamos a ver, let's continue. Muy bien. Vamos a hablar de la asistencia de nuevo, ¿verdad? Son cosas que pues aquí hay que dejar bien claro. Asistencia 100% de las clases. <coughs> Cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase eh, genera asistencia efectiva por cada sesión. Usted ya sabe que esto se le va acumulando, se van sumando. Esos 120 minutos diarios se van sumando y eso... Eh, va generando un porcentaje de asistencia. Eh, la asistencia la vamos a tomar en dos ocasiones. Como mínimamente, con, digamos, tipo 8, eh, how do you say 8 y cuarto? A, A15. Excellent, thank you, A15. ¿Cuál es la otra manera de decir 8 y cuarto? A quarter past eight. A quarter past, uh, okay, a quarter, a quarter after eight. A quarter after eight. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, so a, a, a 15 or around 940. 940, 945. Por ahí, ¿verdad? Eh, se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir present or here I am here uno dice here present esa es la validación para su asistencia y en ese momento you have to um, you have to be on camera okay with your camera on con la cámara encendida. Okay. Sesiones uno a uno disponible, dice. Cada participante será asignado 10 minutos al finalizar. Bueno, ya vamos a terminar bien tarde. Cada clase para aclarar dudas con su familia. O sea que contamos con 10 minutos para aclarar dudas. Al final de la clase, alguna palabra, alguna estructura. Eso, ¿verdad? Vamos. Y reiterarles que yo no estoy autorizado para dar permisos. En estas sesiones no hay permisos. Mire, profe, que se me acalambró una uña. Eh, 
ir el pro, no, lo, lo siento, ¿verdad? Eso no, yo no tramito permisos. Me puede notificar alguna situación que tiene, eh, nada más le voy a decir yo, bueno, enterado, ¿verdad? Y hasta ahí, pero permisos no hay de parte mía, ¿ok? Yo no estoy autorizado para darle permiso a nadie. Son 20 sesiones, 20 sesiones tengo que estar aquí con ustedes. Al igual de usted, 20 sesiones, 20 sesiones tiene que estar en clase. All right. Let's continue. Bueno, vamos a mantener el, el uh, micrófono mute, ¿verdad? Cuando querramos eh, um, preguntar, you can raise your hand, ¿verdad? Ahí apretan el, el, el uh, emoji o la ahí de, hey, I have a question. Y estamos, ¿verdad? Camera, chat. Breakout rooms, vamos a los breakout rooms. Eh, puede pedir eh, ayuda, preguntar en cualquier momento. De acuerdo. Y algo bien importante es el respeto. Respeto para todos sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Recuerde. Alguna frase nos va a salir, ¿verdad? Un chejein va. Una frase ahí nos puede causar un poquito. Pero no, no, eh, no está permitido, ¿verdad? Este, pues, el bullying. ¿verdad? No hay bullying acá. O sea, aquí todos estamos aprendiendo y en un cierto momento vamos a a cometer un, un error de pronunciación, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Pero, ¿cómo vamos a contrastar eso y vamos a hacerlo de la siguiente manera? Eh, cuando creamos grupos, nosotros nos, nos podemos apoyar con los compañeros que, pues, como que hay compañeros que eh, son como de más rápido, ¿verdad? Asimilan más rápido. Entonces, ellos en los grupos pueden ayudar le ayudan a sus compañeros, aquí es de que se ayuden unos con otros, ¿ok? Así vamos a progresar más y este, motivar, motivar a los compañeros a la participación, eh, se equivocó, dele, continúe, continúe, no pare. ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a continuar. Aquí tenemos unas fechas importantes. En la semana 1, bueno, que ahora comenzamos, es November 20th. ¿Qué se puede en los números ordinales, verdad? Sí. De verdad. Bye, bye. Ya le voy a preguntar, ¿When is your birthday? Ok, dice sección 1 del... Del 20th al 24th. November 20th to November 24th. The first section. Section number two. In midterm. From November 27th to December 1st. Así es, así se dice primero, va First. Y segundo, how do you say segundo? Second. Second. Uh, good, good. Tercero. Sorry, yes. Second. Mm -mm. Tercero. Me dijeron tres. Yeah. Third. Third. No. Third. Third. Thirty is thirty. In thirty is thirty. Okay. Don't get confused. Pero muy bien. Your estamos estamos en la jugada como es, okay? Section. Section three from 
December 4th to December 8th. And the last section, ya casi dándonos los abrazos aquí, ¿verdad? Section 4 and final exam from December 11th to December 15th. Y hemos terminado. Questions? No questions. No, oh, okay. Bueno, ahora es momento de let's talk about our uh, let's talk about ourselves when I'm uh, working a short introduce introduction of ourselves, okay? All right, I'm going to start. Y pues usted va a decir you're going to talk about yourself, you're going to give me a short uh, description about yourself, um, short information, okay? Well, uh, I'm gonna start. My name is Victor Martinez. I'm 54. I live in Ciudad Delgado. I'm in a domestic relationship. I have two daughters. Their name are Lupita and Gabby. I work as a teach, an English teacher and also as a um, head instructor at the City Hall of San Salvador. My hobbies are listen to rock and metal, uh, read, uh, read, um, watch movies, series. Uh, I like to do exercise. I love um, cooking barbecues. Um, I have a lot of a lot of friends, and um, that's it. That's me. Okay. Ahora le toca a usted. Ah, good. O yo digo quién quién comienza. Who's gonna start? Who's next? Me. Okay, thank you. Um, hello, my name is Maria Fernanda. I am twenty-seven years old. I am a special educator. Um, I am live in Santa Tecla. Um, I like to sleep and be with my dog. What's the name of your dog? ¿Cómo? What's your dog's name? Sol. Sol. Yes. In interesting. Thank you, Maria Fernanda. Next. My name is Sergio David Leiva. Um, I live in San Sebastián, San Vicente. I'm 29 years old. Um, I like to play football. I like pupusas. <laughs> um, I am I'm married with uh, two children. A family man, Sergio. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Okay, let's continue. Who's next? Me teacher. Good evening. Ah. No, no, no. Continue, Adriana. <laughs> okay. 
My name is Adriana. I am 27 years old. I live in San Salvador. I like to go running and walk. Tiene apagado el micrófono, teacher. Thank you. Diana, do you have any pets? Yes, I have uh, three cats. Sí, no se escucha. Okay, sorry. Diana, it's your turn. Okay, my name is Diana. I am 22 years old. I work in San Salvador. I live in Santa Tecla and I have three cats. I live with my mom and my brother. And my favorite home, well, my favorite hobby is a watching series. What are your cat's names? Um, I have two, how can I say, uh, Embra y Machu. I guess it's she cat. Okay, I have two she cat and his, her name is uh, Rayito and Cleo. And I have one boy, and her his name is Niño. <laughs> okay, that's fun. Thank you, Diana. We continue with? Me, teacher. Oh, okay, Jacqueline, continue. Hello, everybody. My name is Jacqueline Samara Araujo de Sura. I am 38. Girls, I live in uh, Usulután, Santiago de Maria. I have two children, a boy, a girl. Um, I like read. And my hobby is uh, estar en la casa. How do you say? <laughs> stay at home. I stay at home. I love staying home. And you love to sleep too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it, Jacqueline. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Good evening. Uh, my name is Yolanda. Uh, uh, my favorite hobby is uh, watch TV. I like uh, food pupusas. I like drinking coffee with milk. Uh, my family is uh, two, uh, one, one son, one son and one daughter. Uh, And I work. Uh -huh. I work in the ABX in shipping. Uh -huh. uh, sí, creo que finish. Okay, Yolanda, thank you. We okay, understand. You. Nice job. And you have a boy and a girl, yes? You have a nice, uh, beautiful family. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Yeah. Hello, my name is Carla Nayeli. I am 22 years old. I live in Santa Rosa de Lima. My favorite hobby is playing the guitar. 
I have a dog and his name is Simba. Simba, like, like the lion? Yes. Ah, I see. All right, good. Okay, Carla, thank you. Who's next? Hello, everybody. Good evening. My name is Walter Ramirez. I am 41 years old. I work in the airport. I am a fireman. Um, my hobby is watch the cell phone. That's all. So you're addicted to social networks? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's an addiction. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Let's okay. continue. Good evening. My name is Francisco Javier Quintero. Uh, I like repairing aircraft. I am 22 years old. I live in Soyapango. I work at Aeroman. Uh, my oh, favorite no hobby is watch One Piece. No, Watch One Piece. <laughs> Is that what you say? Yes, yes. Ah, the anime. So you love anime. All right. Let's continue. Hi. Hello. Me escuchan. Uh, who's, yeah. to, who's talking yes. now? Who's talking now? Merari. My Merari. name is Merari. Okay, Merari, continue, please. My name is Merari Sanchez. I am 28 years old. I'm from San Pedro, Peru, La Pan. I like to read books. I work in a drugstore and I live my I live with my mother and my brother. Do you have any hobbies, Merari? Repeat. Do you do you have any hobbies? Okay, you you read. Yeah, you told me you read. That's a hobby, but any other hobby? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. No exercise, no gym. No soccer, no, no basketball. No. Okay, no, we have no, no me queda okay. tiempo, no sé cómo oh. se dice. Okay, you can, Merari, you can say, um, I don't have time. I don't, oh, I don't, I don't have time for, for hobbies. I'm a, I'm a very busy person. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Hello, Vanessa. Yes, okay, Vanessa. My name is Vanessa Santos. I am twenty six years old. I live in, in Acajutla, Sonsonate. Um, I work in Atlantida Park. Um, my favorite color is white. I, I like wash series. Um, and I play soccer. <laughs> okay, Vanessa, thank you. Um, what's your favorite team? 
What is your favorite team? Madrid, Barcelona, Boca Junior. Uh -huh. Vanessa. Madrid. Ah, your Madrid. Okay. Ya pasó con, <laughs> ya pasó con diez. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let's continue. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> who's, who's talking? <laughs> Lord de Maria or okay. Karen. Oh, Karen. Karen is talking or Flor? Okay, okay. Thank oh, you, Flor. Okay. Uh, my name is Karen Membreño. I'm from in Santiago de Maria. Uh, I like I like sport. I play volleyball. I watch I like watch TV movies. So <laughs> Okay, Karen, thank you. No Chucho, no Puerto Rico? No. <laughs> okay. I guess it's time for Flor. Hello. Uh, good evening. Um, my name is Flor. Um, my name is Flor. I am um, Dirty Ace. Um, uh, I live in Santa Tecla. I work in Distributor of Florida. Um, now, si tienen listas escolares, pueden hacerme a mí los pedidos. <laughs> in English, teacher. <laughs> um, uh, I like watching movies. Mm, uh, I live in with my husband and my daughter. Um, um, so let's that all. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now let me see. We have, I guess we have a Gerson, Juan Carlos, and I don't, I don't know if Kimberly already spoke. Okay. Walter fue el que habló, ¿verdad? Gerson no ha hablado. Okay, Gerson. Cuidado con esta cuacín que tiene atrás. Okay. Ah, no, it's a raccoon. It's a raccoon. It's a raccoon. It's a raccoon. Yeah. Um, hi, good evening. My name is Gerson Deras. I have 29 years old. I live in, in Acajutla City. No more, Gerson. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have uh, Giancarlo, Juan Carlos. Hola, buenas noches. ¿Me escucha? Claro, claro. Clear. Uh, hello. <laughs> hello. Good night. Good, perdón. Good evening. Everyone, uh, my name is Juan Carlos Quevedo. My age is 33 years old. I live in San Salvador. I work in Marriott. I am a store manager. Um, um, I, I like to watch TV. Only that. No exercise, Juan Carlos. No, no, I don't like. Only, only churritos. Only and, eat. Churritos, only eat. Churritos and soda. 
eh, churros, churros españoles. Oh, 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 vaya, vaya. I like. All right, good. Okay, good. Thank you. Teacher, no escucho El nada. Micrófono, teacher. Ok, creo que tenemos ya Vanessa, Karen, Jacqueline, Adriana, Sergio, Jenny, Jenny Carolina, ya habló Jenny Carolina. La escuchaba. No, ¿Para qué? No, ajá. <risa> no. <risa> eh, good evening, everybody. Eh, my name is Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. I am 22 years old. I don't eh, have kids. Eh, I live in San Andrés. Um, I work at Kimberly Clark. Eh, I like to watch TV, play soccer. And I have cast. His name is Felix. Felix, el gato. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, Jenny, thank you. Let me see, Walter, Yolanda, Merari, Carla, already spoke, Flor de Maria, Herson, y su mascota, Diana, Maria Fernanda, Vanessa, Francisco, Kimberly, and Juan Carlos. Okay, so this is this is uh, our class. We're gonna be interacting with each other. Okay, remember we're gonna interact. We're gonna practice uh, a lot of uh, conversations. We're gonna work on grammar, vocabulary, and those things. Okay. Ahora sí. Now it's time to start with our first lesson. Here. Oh. Sorry, but uh, there's something I need to do. Se me pasó la hora de la attendance list. Let me check. No, aquí no es. Yes, aquí. Okay, Can you see the list. That is the list, the attendance list. I'm gonna call you. You got yes. you, have, you have to say present or here, okay? Adriana Lisset Chavez Lopez. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramirez Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Flor de Maria Valladares de Torres. Present. Francisco Javier Quinteros Echeverría. Present teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Deras Santana. Present teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen. Jemina Membreño. Present teacher. Thank you. Yo digo Jemina, ¿ves? Es, te dicen Gemina. Sí. 
Ah, okay. en inglés se escucha bien chido. En inglés sí. Yeah. Oh, okay. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Díaz. Present. Thank you. María Fernanda Morán Rivas. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sánchez Facundo. Present. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Girón. Present. Thank you. Walter Amilca Ramírez Molina. Present. Thank you. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, de esa manera we're gonna call the attendance twice. Okay, two times in the class. All right. Now let's start with the class. Ya nos conocimos un poco. Now it's time to start learning. Practicing our English. Okay, this is our first content. This is the first lesson. Can you see my screen? Yep. Can you see it? Yeah. Good. Unit one company identity. So after this unit or in this lesson, you're going to be able to write an effective business mission and vision statement. You know, what is the vision or what is the mission of your company? In, in this lesson, you are going to do it in English. You're going to write it in English, okay? You're going to know how to create a mission and a vision. Y eso lo vamos a aprender, okay? That we're we're going to learn that, all right? Now, let's start. It is important for staff to know the mission and vision of the company. Why? How does your everyday work take the company closer to the vision? Yeah, because the vision is that, okay, in five years, our company is going to reach that objective. Yeah, de eso se trata. That's what, it, what it's about, yeah? And all in your, at your workplace, you have the mission and the vision. Stick it on the wall. Questions? No questions? No, teacher. Comprende mucho o comprende poquito? Let's continue. Okay, mire ahí dice. Gerson. ¿Cómo dice aquí? Listen to your teacher, read the conversation. Then practice with the with a partner. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Thank you. Thank you. Listen to your teacher and read the conversation, then practice with a partner. So we're going to practice, but first, what we need to do, we, you need to listen to your dear teacher, yeah? And says, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Pay attention to that. 
our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Got it? All right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. That is the vision. What is the mission? Any questions? Repeat, please, uh, get in the future. Future, future. Ah, that's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Got it? Teacher is preferred or? Ah. Preferred. 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 Oh, okay. preferred. I'm going to record the, the conversation, okay? Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. I send this uh, recording to WhatsApp. Okay, now, wow. Okay. Okay, and there's the conversation in the WhatsApp group. Why? Because we're gonna go to the uh, breakout rooms and you are going to practice, understand? Hey, teacher, puede compartir aquí en el, uh, aquí en la, en el chat de Zoom, eh, la pantallita, la captura. Uh, ya la envié al, al WhatsApp, pero se puede también. Please, teacher. Ya le envié al WhatsApp group. There it is. Ready to practice? Okay, let's go to the chat rooms and practice, all right? Thank you, Juan Carlos. Okay, let's go to the chat rooms and practice.
Is everybody here now? I guess. Okay, who wants to practice with me? I. Okay, let's do it. You start. Hi, Diana. Okay. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's return. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business is going to get in the future. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you. All right, let okay. me see. Let's have another two volunteers. Okay, here's some practice with Carla Nayeli. Okay. Um, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists. <laughs> And our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by 2020. That's right. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. Excellent. Very good. Only, okay, this one is let's read them. Okay. Let's read them. Okay. Got it? All right. Very good, hotel, hotel, okay, hotel. You say hotel is uh, weird, all right, hotel. Good, let's continue, let's have another another two volunteers. Jacqueline Xiomara and Jenny Caroline. Hey, I don't want you, I don't want you to fall asleep. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I did. We should be ready to answer questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at the at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes with our business business exit. Um, our vision is to become is to become the most preferred beach beach hotel by okay. families. Hotel by families by 2020. That's right. Our vision, there's where our business want to get in the future. Future. All right. Future. Thank you. I think. Okay. Again, let's read them. Let's read them. Let's read them. Let's read them. Okay. If you have problem with a word, repeat. Listen, repeat, listen, repeat, okay? That's how we improve our pronunciation, yeah? When I find a new word, I start like repeating the word, repeating, repeat, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat. How many times do you repeat a word to memorize it? Forty times. Forty, thirty, 
30 or 40? 40. 40. 30. Oh, okay. Good. And the rest? What do you do to memorize a word? 20. 20. 20 times. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, I <a> rule. <laughs> And the rest, how do you memorize pronunciation? A la primera. At first glance, you memorize it by heart. Okay. Uh, the science says that if you repeat a word 36 times, you will uh, memorize it. I say that you memorize a word, it doesn't matter how many times you repeat it. Until you memorize it, you stop repeating the word, okay? There are different um, strategies to memorize. But if you start like, you know, check in, check out, check in to 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 check out, then, you find a rhythm, okay? Recuerde, el inglés tiene un ritmo. <coughs> yeah? As a rhythm and intonation. Yeah? The mission and the vision of the company. The mission and the vision of the company. The mission and the vision of the company. Okay. No tengo que apurarme. No, no, no. I don't need to speak fast. You don't need to speak fast. You go slow right now. Okay, you go slow right now. And then by practicing, by practicing and practicing, then you are fluent. El progreso va llegando poco a poco. Little by little. But don't stop practicing, okay? Aquí me están levantando la mano algunos compañeros. Miren que ya, ya está, los veo hasta molestos porque no les dejo participar. Okay, por favor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't pay attention. Y es Flor de María con Karen. Yeah, ahí, ahí están. I'm sorry, de verdad. I'm sorry. Please continue. <laughs> practice practice the conversation, please. Okay, Karen. Okay, Did you hear about the, the visit of the manager today? I did. We all be ready to answer questions about the mission in the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check check I to check check out. Right. Our mission describes why our business exists exists and our vision in to become the most preferred beach hotel by family by 2020 that's right our vision tell where our business want to get in the future Right, thank you. That that conversation was very relaxed. Yeah, very relaxed. Like, yeah, did you hear about the visit of the manager today? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Relax. Be relaxed. Yeah, but find find the, the rhythm. Okay. Did you hear? Did you hear? All right. We should be ready to answer, 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 to answer questions, to answer questions. Good? Yeah? ¿Qué me decía el profe ahora? Que repita, repita, repita. But listen to the right pronunciation. Okay? Let's continue. Um, hay dos compañeras que es también ya me mandaron con caritas enojadas porque no les doy la participación. 
Adriana y Vanessa, por favor. Did you hear about the visit of the manager today? I think we show by be reading to ask more questions about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's read them. Okay. Our mission is to make our wet feel at home from check in to check out. Right. Our mission describes we our business exits. And our vision is to become the most prefer prefer beach hotel by families by 2020 that's right our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future all right thank you Good. Now, let's continue. We're going to stop here. We're going to continue with other participation. O oh, alguien más me levantó la mano. Do I? Someone else? No? No more participations? Okay. Don't be pena. Don't be chai. Okay. I'm going to make mistakes. Okay. Good. I'm gonna make mistakes, but don't be afraid to make mistakes, okay? I'm gonna write that on the chat. You see the chat? Yes. You get it? Understand? Do you get it? Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't. Just don't be afraid, okay? Why? Because we're learning. We're learning. We're practicing, okay? Esta es su zona de práctica. All right? Aquí se dan coscorrones virtuales nada más. No en vivo. Good, so don't be afraid to make mistakes, all right? Good, let's see, all right? Now, let's continue. We have another activity. And let me see here. Now, um, let me see, Yolanda. Yolanda, can you read the instructions, please? Okay, teacher. Uh, read the mission attempts of successful companies uh, may send to the companies of, on the right. Uh, com compare your answer with Parrot. All right, thank you. Thank you. Read the, no. no, no, only, only the instructions. Read the mission statements of successful companies. Okay, so far so good, hasta ahí? Successful. Repeat. Exitosas, yeah? Successful companies. Compañías exitosas, right? Read the mission statements of successful companies. Match them to the companies or the name of the companies. Debería ser the name of the companies on the right. Compare your answer with a compañero or compañeria. All right. What's that? What, what is the teacher saying? No. Okay. Compare you. Now work individually. Okay.
Work individually. This exercise, working individually. What are you going to do? Match. Combine. Ah, estaba con aquella, estaba con esta, all right? Comprende? Yes. Everybody? Yes. Yes. Okay, let's do it. Yes, teacher. Let's do it. The first is Amazon. Okay. Uh, okay, wait. Wait. Dejemos que los demás trabajen también, okay? No, no les esté dando copia. I know the activity is very easy, but let everybody read and do the activity. You gotta read and do the activity. Teacher, hello. What does it mean, Chevron? Chevron. Chevron. Yes. Okay, Chevron is a gas station, uh, company like like Puma, like uh, Texaco. Uh, Chevron is an American, uh, uh petroleum company. They this sell company. Yeah, it's a it's a. Uh, they sell they sell uh, gasoline. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Long time ago, we had a Chevron. We had Chevron here in El Salvador, and also Shell. Ooh, we're talking about long, long time ago. Finish, my friends. If you're finished, give me a like. Finish. Give me a like if you're finished. Yeah, thank you, Francisco Walter. Yeah, send me a like. Send me a like. Thank you, Carla. Any other question? New words for you?
everybody finish. Okay, let me see. Okay, for who who wants to read or who can read letter A and its answer? Hi. Okay, thank you. Read letter A? Yeah. To be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Okay, what's the answer? It's Amazon. Amazon, yeah, Amazon. Yeah, the most customer centric company, okay? Great, okay, another one. Walter, come on, continue with letter B. To be the global energy company most admitted for its people, partnership, and performance. Uh huh. Answer? Is Chevron. Chevron, yeah. To be the global energy company most admired. For its people, partnership, and performance. Got it? Questions? No questions, my friends? No. No questions. Pronunciation, meaning. All right. Okay. Francisco, Javier, letter C. To bright inspiration and innovation to a very athletic in the world. Nike. Nike, yes, all right. To bring inspiration, thank you, Francisco. To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world, Nike. And yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Repeat, please. Athlete. Ah, uh, athlete. 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 Saca la lengua, ¿ve? Eh? Athlete. Athlete. Como cuando dices tres, ¿verdad? Dice three. Athlete. Three athlete. Three athletes. Three athletes. Sin pronunciar la L, ¿verdad? No, sí se pronuncia. Asleep. 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 Sleep. Sleep. Asleep. Ok, let's put it easy. Digamos, but algo que parece, it's similar to the pronunciation, sería como una A, Z, L, E, T. Ah, no, A, Z, L, I, T. Asleep. This is uh, uh, just uh, similar, okay? This is not a. Uh, take a look at the shot. Asleep. Uh huh. Asleep. Asleep. Did you check the chat? Asleep. Close. Very. Remember the TH sound. El sonido TH es bien especial. Aquí lo tenemos. Asleep. 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 Saca la lengua y sopla. Saca la lengua y sopla. Asleep. All right? Asleep. It's not an easy word, but once you get it, you get it. All right? Gerson, did I ask you for a letter D? Pero tú faltaba, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok, Gerson. To inspire a nature, nature. Uh, the human spirit, one person, one cup, and one neighborhood at a time. At a time. Ok, thank you. That is... Starbucks. Yeah, Starbucks. Yeah. To inspire and nurture the human spirit. One person, one cup, one neighborhood at a time. 
it's too expensive right here. I don't, I don't, I don't buy a coffee. It's too expensive. Okay. Now. Everybody has the right answers? Yes. Okay. Why should no questions? No teacher. questions. Let's continue then. We're gonna watch a video. Okay. Are you ready for the video? Okay. Ready. Okay. This video is about the essential components of an effective mission statement, okay? Why? Because you're going to write a mission, you're going to write a vision, okay? This is the, I mean, the address, but I'm gonna stop here, sharing here in a bubble. Let's go to another place. I know you are tired, everybody's tired, but she just talked out, right? Let me see where. No, 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 no. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. And let me see. Estamos here. Can you see my screen? Yes. Do you see the video over there? Yes. Yes, oh, I see. Okay, please pay attention. And then we're going to discuss the video, okay? Pay notes. Here we go. is ah. loading Wait a minute. No, no se escucha. Fisher, no se escucha nada. No se escucha. Hello. No, the video is not. Ah, oh, okay. Wait. Creo que sé lo que está fallando. Ah, uh -huh. And what about now? 
Hi, my name is Erica Olson. Today's whiteboard session yes. is on how to oh, write a okay. mission statement. Mission statements are foundational to any strategic plan. You normally build one after you develop your SWOT and before you go into the rest of your planning process. It's foundational because it answers the question, why do we exist? It clearly explains the space that we play and what's in and what's out of what we do. And it's not where we're going, which is vision. So let's break it down. We use this example to explain the components of a mission statement. We use this checklist to talk about what makes a good mission statement, and we'll walk through a simple process to create yours. So let's jump in. The example we have up here is Google's, and we love using Google's, Google's examples because they're, they're great, and why not borrow from the best? So starting with our mission, I like to start it with our mission because it gives us a place to, to go and keeps us thinking about mission. You might get rid of it later, but start it there. Uh, it has a verb with present tense to organize. We explain what we do, organize the world's information for whom, in this case, the world, and what's the benefit to us existing? What's the benefit to the world to make information universally accessible and useful? Really straightforward. We know mission statements are not that easy to write, so here's a checklist to make sure that yours is great. Starting with, it needs to be original. This is really clearly original to Google. They didn't rip it off from somebody else. It doesn't sound like anybody else's mission statement. It sounds like Google's mission statement. So make sure yours is original. It's foundational. I already mentioned that, but you don't want to change it all the time. Maybe a few word tweaks, but ideally not. You want a mission statement that sustains over time. So it needs to be foundational. Connect with staff. A great mission statement, and you know yours is great, when every single staff member wakes up in the morning and knows that their purpose and the reason they come to work every day is expressed in your mission statement. And to do that, it needs to be memorable. Memorable means short and concise. And of course, that's the balance to strike with a great mission statement. So here's your litmus test. It needs to fit on a t-shirt and your staff would wear it. If it achieves those two goals, you know you've got a great mission statement. So how do you write one? Sometimes it can be hard, so it's great to get input or ideas from your organization. So gather staff input, if you'd like, via survey or maybe focus groups. Take all that information, synthesize it down, and create a couple of versions. You can do it yourself, or use one of those folks in your organization who loves to copyright and have them write a couple of different versions. Take those versions and either have your planning team pick one or put them out to your organization and have people vote on them. So that simple process will help you not uh, go in all kinds of different directions and spend forever doing mission statement development. With that, I hope this helps you write yours. Thanks for tuning in. Questions? Teacher, she speaks so fast. Yeah, that is a, a standard English. Native. I don't understand the middle of them. She, oh. she does. That's why we have the video transcript. You see the video transcription here? Fill in. Yeah. This video transcript. So this is what she was saying when she was talking about the mission. Look. So if I speak, I speak slower. Okay. So my so my students can understand. So this says today's whiteboard session is on how to write a mission statement. Mission statements are foundational to any strategic plan. You normally build one after you develop your SWAT. I don't, I don't remember that. And before you go into the rest of your planning process. It's foundational because it answers the question, why do we exist, okay? Why your company exists? The place, the space that we play, uh, 
In other words, ¿por qué ABX existe? ¿verdad? ¿Por qué existe Avianca? ¿Por qué existe eh, Pizza Hut? Ok, aquí se establece en la misión. All right, and uh, it also explains what in and out of what we do, and it's not where we're going, which is vision. Okay, let's break it down. We will, we will this example to explain the components of a mission statement. We will use this checklist to talk about what makes a good mission statement, and we'll walk through a simple process to create yours. Okay, the example we have in Google, Google examples are great and why not borrow from the best. Our mission is to organize. Okay, this is the mission of what? From who? From Google. This is the mission from Google, okay? Mire lo que dice. Dice, our mission is to organize the world's information to make it universally accessible and useful. You see? In four sentences, we have a, we have a mission, okay? You have to be concise, brief, short. He has Vamos bien hasta acá? So far, so good? Teacher. Hello. This is a structure for mission. Yes. Okay. Eso es lo que estamos aprendiendo. Cómo crear, cómo, uh, sí, crear, crear. Crear una misión, la misión de su compañía a través ejemplos de otras compañías. Ok. Veamos. But let's talk about grammar. We're going to talk about grammar here too. It has a verb with present tense. Ok. Ah, teacher, we're talking about, we're talking about um, uh, grammar. Yes, mire. Dice, it has a verb with present tense to organize. This explains what we do. Organize the world. Ah, organize the world's information. For whom? In this case, the world. Google. Google organizes the information for the whole planet all the countries in the world. Yeah, that, that what it, they're saying and just to organize. <coughs> um, sorry. In this case, the world and what's the benefit to us existing? What's the benefit to the world? Aquí abajo está, mire. To make it universally, what? Accessible. Now you can access to, uh, to Google on your phone right away. Instantly you find a word, hey, hey, what's the pronunciation of this word? What the meaning of this word? Google it. You got it here. Accessible and useful. You see? Any questions? Let's check this list checklist original foundational staff connection memorable teacher ah 
Ajá. Ok. A mission has to be original. It's not a copy and paste. Ah, yo vi una bien chiva. Ah, ya la voy a copiar. No, this is have to be yours. Foundational. Staff connection. Ok, pero vamos a ver uno por uno. Dice, it needs to be original. This is clearly original to Google. They didn't rip it off from somebody. Ok, mire. Rip it off. No lo tomaron. Somebody else. It doesn't sound like anybody else's mission statement. It sounds like Google's mission statement. Ok, it have to sound like your company. Ok, something original. Let's see. Then they have foundational. It's foundational already mentioned that, but you don't want to change it all the time. Maybe a few words tweaks, but I, ideally not. You want a mission statement that sustains over time, so it needs to be foundational. Okay. Oh, I'm going to be changing the, the, the mission every year. No, no, no. It states the same way, maybe one or two or three words, but not the whole. No todo lo vamos, no. It has to be like uh, something original and it's gonna last for many years, okay? Understand that part? Las compañías no cambian eso cada año, ¿ok? Eso se queda. All right. Now, we connect with the staff. You know your mission is great when every single staff member wakes up in the morning and knows that their purpose and their reason, they come to work every day is expressed in the mission statement, ¿ok? So, what? The personal, the people that works in your company is related, connected with the mission. Okay, it's something that, okay, I'm part of that company and I am an example of what the company wants for our customers. Okay, understand that part? Okay, Let, let's go back to the conversation. Vamos a la conversación. Decía que quería hacer um, un hotel para las familias, eh, un hotel que... Um, que se convirtiera en, 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 en el, como decía, me ayudan, we want to be a hotel, to, to become, para convertirse en un hotel, en que las familias pues, entren y salgan con una buena impresión, ¿verdad? Siempre. Okay. Y eso es, ¿quién hace posible eso? la gente que trabaja ahí. Si usted está identificado con la misión, usted representa a su compañía, representa la misión y representa lo que quiere la compañía. ¿Ok? Así que, buen servicio al cliente y todo lo hace en in, in order to um, uh, mean, keep alive or your uh, mission, okay, your mission is yours and the company mission is yours too. You are represent, representing that mission. Okay, be memorable means short and concise. Of course, that's the balance to strike with a great mission statement, okay? Debe ser concisa, corta, right? 
And now we have a phrase like, it needs to fill on a teacher and your staff will wear it, achieve those two goals. You know, you gotta, you gotta go, you got a great mission statement, okay? Let's go, let's go back with Nike. ¿Qué dicen las camisas de Nike? Nike. ¿Qué dicen? You can? Just do it. Uh -huh. Just, Just do, do it. it or you can do it. ¿Cómo dicen? Just do it. Just do you it. can do it. You can do it. Ok, ya, ya sabe. Ok, y si usted ve esa frase, ya sabe que es Nike. Yeah. Another Good. company in El Salvador that they have a they have a phrase. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, if you want. Bomba. Explosión de de explosión en precio, no hay que... <laughs> okay, okay, you see? Esa frase se mete y son memorables, quedan por siempre. Right? Now you understand the philosophy of the mission and, and the vision, okay? Yeah. That's something that se mete en la psiquis y ahí queda. All right? Good. Stop now. So how do you write one? Sometimes it can be hard. It's great to get input or ideas from your organization. Gather staff input to be, be, be it survey or maybe focus group and take that information, synthesize it down and create a couple of versions. You can do it yourself or you someone who loves to copy, write, and have them write a couple of different versions, take those version and either have your planning team pick up one or put them out to your organization. Okay, this is this is now that you are going to work on a mission. Okay, any questions? You'll do it. Just do it. Okay, so let's go. Do it. Let's do it. But let's let's, let's go. just do it. Let's go. Let me see where are we. Let's see another activity. Where are we? Here. Okay, now we have like how to use um, infinitive. In exercise two and three, what verbs are used to write the mission and vision statement? To make, to become, to be, to bring, to inspire, or may become, be, bring, or inspire. What are the verbs that we use? To make, to become, to be, to bring, to inspire. How How is that uh, grammar can, it's called? That is, what tense is it? Que tiempo verbal is? Infinitive. Infinitive, yeah? Forms that consist of two plus the base form of the verb are called infinitive, yeah? Infinitives are used to express purpose, like in mission statements, example given, why does the company exist? to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Okay, ah, uh, teacher, we're talking about uh, that we can express purposes, objectives, goals, yeah, to bring, to inspire, to be, to make,
Infinitives are also used to express direction, like in vision statements. Where is the company going? Our vision is to become the most preferred beach hotel by family. Oh my goodness. Okay. All right, my friends, we're going to stop here. Chequemos donde nos quedamos, all right? Number four, unit four, exercise four. I mean, unit one, activity four. Okay. Study about this because tomorrow you're going to write a mission. Um, busquen la misión y la visión de su compañía, por favor, mañana la vamos a usar. All right. Okay, teacher. Good. Let me let me call the attendance. Again. Adriana Lisset Chávez López. Present. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth Ramírez Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Flor de María Valladares de Torres. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier Quintero Echeverría. Present, teacher. Thank you. Gerson Osvaldo Dera Santana. Present, teacher. Oh, thank you. Jacqueline Xiomara Araujo de Sura. Present. Thank you. Juan Carlos Quevedo Alfaro. Present, teacher. Thank you. Karen Jemina Membreño. Merci. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Nayeli Machado Ramos. Present. Thank you. Kimberly Nayeli Miranda Diaz. Present. Thank you. Maria Fernanda Moran Rivas. Present. Thank you. Merari Andrea Sanchez Facundo. Present. Thank you. Sergio David Leiva Pereira. Present. Thank you. Vanessa Guadalupe Santos Quirón. Present. Thank you. Walter Amilcar Ramirez Molino. Present. Thank you. Jenny Carolina Tobar Velázquez. Present. Thank you. Yolanda Pérez de Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Okay, my friends. Uh, un par de preguntas. Solo quisiera saber si qué opinión les deja la clase. Teacher, una pregunta. No sí. tiene que ver con la clase, sino con la plataforma. Siempre el mismo contraseña y usuario, lo mismo igual. Igual, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, creo que, ¿verdad? La contraseña. Sí, cabal. Igual. Vale. igual. Gracias. Gracias. Muy bien. La dinámica que les ha parecido, les da sueño, les da hambre. A mí me ha gustado mucho. Muy bien. Lo entiendo bastante. All good, teacher. Saben que no podemos hacer nada con los videos, ¿verdad? Porque eso es, son, son personas este, de, nativas. O sea, su inglés ya es así. Así que. Quedamos con eh, un par de minutos ahí para aclarar dudas sobre el contenido. Pueden hacerlo abiertamente. Y los que quieran tomar cafecito pueden tomar café. O ya no va, ya no, ya no es hora. No, <ríe> ya no. Bueno, queda el, el momento abierto aquí para yes, aclarar, yes. aclarar dudas, ¿verdad? Y, y pues los que no, pues también pueden ya eh, eh, have a good night. Ok, teacher. All right. See you tomorrow. See you. All good right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Y hay preguntas, aquí estoy aún, ¿verdad? Tenemos un par de minutos aún. Good night, see you tomorrow. All right.
Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay, see bye. you. Bye-bye. I am going to have coffee. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs>